something wrong? No, no, not at all. I can tell you're upset. Just tell me why. This just isn't exactly what I imagined. What do you mean? I don't know. I just thought when you said we were coming here, it'd be a little more... A little more what? I don't know. No, a little more what? Nicer, I guess. Nicer. Okay, nicer isn't the right word. A little more upscale. This isn't upscale enough for you? I didn't say that. All I'm saying is that, I don't know, on a day like today, it warrants something a little more substantial. I thought you liked this place. When did I say that? Yesterday, when we drove by, you pointed at it and you said it looked like a good spot. Not for today? Well, how was I supposed to know which day you were referring to? When you say it's a good spot, I assume... You assume that's the issue. Well, if you were a little more clear about these things, then I wouldn't have to make assumptions. That's not fair. It is fair, because you have a habit of... And I'm not trying to be confrontational, but you have a habit of being vague. Uh, and, vague? Yes, vague. And it leaves me with the job of having to fill in the gaps. Because I don't want to feel like I'm the only one putting in the effort. You don't think I put in any effort? I didn't say that. No, but that's what you mean. Don't tell me what I mean. All I'm saying is that I want to feel like you're trying. I am trying. Who drove us here? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I drove to your apartment, and I I waited for like 15 extra minutes. It was not 15 you had minutes. To, let me finish. Because you had to grab your things. It was like five. Let me finish. And then I drove you here to a place you said was a good spot, a place I thought would be good, and, and, and suddenly I'm not doing enough. Okay, fine. No, it's not fine. I do so much and I don't get any credit for it. You're putting words into my mouth. If I don't, who will? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) What? What's funny? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking about how I never had fights like this with David. Are you serious right now? What'd I say? You're gonna bring him into this. Right. Turns out I know how to put words into my own mouth. We agreed not to talk about other partners. Lucas, we agreed not to do a lot of things. Yet here we are, sitting in front of a hole-in-the-wall donut shop, arguing about who puts in more effort, when it's obviously me, on a day that's supposed to be big for the both of us. Well, why don't you give David a call? No, yeah, give David a call. Ask him where he'd take you, since apparently he still means so much to you. Oh, did I hurt your feelings? Yeah, a bit, yeah. Well, now you know how I feel when you make those little jabs at me. You started this whole thing. No, I did not. I was perfectly willing to keep my mouth shut and go through with this, but you pressed me. Because you were obviously upset. Was I just supposed to ignore that? I don't know, maybe. Was I supposed to ignore that you were upset? Act like it was everything was fine? I don't know, but that's better than what's happening now. Fine. 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 <sighs> All right, it's four. In and out in four minutes. David could do it in two. Fuck you. One. Grab a full clip. Two. Top loose lips. Three. Tag gas before. Know how to use them. Four. Cock it back slow. Five. Now I'ma let it blow. Six. This is how you get dope.